question from our Twitter account. This time it's from at Chrysalid or Sebastian Mendoza. How did you guys approach the challenge of making things look less advanced to what we had seen in the first original DSX, but at the same time make them appealing and visually stunning for today, uh, today's standards? So um, basically the way, the way we did that is that we mostly decided to go with our own direction in the sense that um, you know, we bought a lot of books, we spoke to a lot of uh, uh, you know, people that, uh, that are kind of like in those, in those technological fields um, and basically we tried to make sure that we knew where technology was going for the next you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years and base the, the, the technology in human revolution on those things. So I think it was really about doing our homeworks to make sure that our, our uh, futuristic anticipation uh, was right. And at the same time, well, it's a, it's a video game, it's an entertainment product, so you know we over-exaggerate it uh, uh, once in a while because we want to have fun while creating those things. I want to have my artists at the same time to have fun. And I think that for a game also it needs to be sometimes a little over-exaggerated just like uh, for a movie. So you know, at the end of the day, I think it works great. And uh, I think it's also uh, right on target with uh, where a lot of uh, uh, the technologies are, are going to go.